Okay, guys, um, I was doing a little bit of digging um, <clears throat> on Zendikar. Um, two new spoilers have been released. Uh, no art yet. No final art yet, actually. Uh, they are both reprints. Um, one of my all-time favorite cards from Magic, uh, Harrow, is being reprinted. <clears throat> it's uh, the green sorcerer, I believe, where uh, two in a green, you sacrifice a land as an additional cost, and you search for two basic lands and put them onto the battlefield. Um, yeah, that's really good. Uh, like, I could see that being comboed off with, like, Path of Exile for Land Ramp or, um, Elves, Druids. You know, I could definitely see that card being used like it was back in the day, back when Invasion was new. I, I play with Harrow all the time. It's, it's a really good card, guys. Uh, and Cartographer. Another one of my favorite cards from the Odyssey block. Um, it's the one where uh, I believe it costs one in the green. If I'm not mistaken, or two in the green. It's a 2 2. Uh, when it comes into play, you may return target land um, from your graveyard to your hand. So, if there's going to be more cards like that in the set then Crucible World Worlds will not be reprinted in uh, if that I can see so far. Um, but we we are we're not sure yet completely. Um, I was doing some more digging. Um, found uh, that the set's contents that Chandra Blaze's other two abilities do not deal damage only her plus one does, so it's, it's anyone's guess what her last two abilities do do. Um, there's 106 hits for land, so that's a considerably large number considering, uh, you know, counting landfall, the 40, uh, the 40 basic lands, the or 20 basic lands, and the probably like 20 other non-basic lands that will probably be printed into the set. Um, nine to eleven like quest enchantment cards, uh, which is like um, like the two Lords quests, like I stated in my previous video. Um, it's a possible reprint as well, uh, Ravenous Bailoff and Mind Sludge. Um, Ravenous Bailoff is pretty good. Um, I have never really seen people play with Beast decks though, um, but it's a possibility that Beast decks could make a, an appearance. Uh, there could be a lot of beasts in this uh, in this set, this block, and Mind Sludge. Um, Mind Sludge is a really good card. Um, you know, target player discards a card for each swamp you control. So, if it's a good sideboard card, especially if um, you're going with. Uh, up against like, a blue deck that's running Jace or something, where they're just drawing cards, drawing cards, drawing cards. You're just like, okay, I'm gonna just draw all your cards. Um, Mind Sludge. <coughs> and then they have to discard their entire hand, basically. And then they're left basically defenseless, and you wipe their field from that point. Then you probably still have a hand left. <coughs> I always enjoyed that card, particularly. Um, there, are, uh, there are still some cards that we're not sure exactly what are going to be coming up with. Um, 
uh, creature type subtypes. Uh, there's six angels, 41 allies, uh, four archers. Um, One avatar, three basilisks, uh, there's 11 beasts. So, we'll see how many uh, beasts are good and which ones are like all those other beasts that you never wanted to play with. Um, there's four berserkers, that's included in the goblin, uh, the war and instigator which uh, still has not been fully revealed. Um, but as I said in my previous video, uh, in the description of my previous video, um, my predictions for what it would be. Um, it could be four birds. I don't see one of those being Birds of Paradise, however, because birds is already in 2010. So... Um, four cats, six clerics. Um, I'll post the rest of them because that's going to take a while. Um, same for card types and then evergreen uh, mechanics like death touch defender, double, I mean like double strike more than likely. Um, haste, there's six, so that double strike and haste, there's a pretty good chance because for creatures there's a lot of creatures <laughs> there are a lot of creatures um, it's just what the orb of insight states um, There's also uh, two intro pack cards revealed that we don't know what they do yet, but we have their mana cost and their name. Um, one of them is a white card. It's called Armament Master. Armament Master, yeah. Costs two white. Uh, the art on it looks pretty awesome. He's like polishing a sword. Um, and the other one is a uh, Turn Timber Ranger. Costs three and two green. Uh, He's riding a wolf, so it, it might have something to do with the uh, wolf or fetching lands by that name, the term timber. Uh, and rangers normally go for lands or have like a uh, reach or they can't be blocked by like uh, set by flying or they uh, produce mana of some sort. So, and there's also uh, five arts revealed. Uh, that there's no details on yet, but I can tell you that these arts look pretty awesome. Some of them look like they might be artifacts. Actually, uh, one of them looks like they might be black or uh, a land, so we'll see. Alright guys, uh, let me know what you think.